Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee with My Sunshine. And thank you for stopping by for another DIY Make It Your Own Monday project. So for the salt and pepper shaker, all you're going to need is a paint of your choice. I used chalk paint and I mixed in a little bit of the acrylic paint that we had because I wanted a more of a minty blue type color. And some salt and pepper shakers that I already had. Um, I got these from the Dollar Tree a long time ago. I don't know if they still have them, but I think you can get them pretty cheap at like Walmart and stuff. For the letters, because I'm not very good at hand painting and I didn't have um, any of the like vinyl stickers, I just went through some of my magazines that I had and cut out um, an S and a P. Takes a little bit of um, patience to cut them out because they are kind of small and thin. And then I took a little bit of Mod Podge on this foam brush and coated the one side where I'm going to put the letter just so that the letter would stick. And I kind of pushed it on with the foam brush, made sure it was straight, and then put a top coat over it so that it would stay. And I would do a few coats of this on the top, but let them dry in between. And then you can also distress it by scratching the paint before it gets too hard or using sandpaper. And I did the same thing for the S and you want to be a little bit gentle with it. I ended up um, kind of wrinkling the S. It was fairly easy to just push back into place. but And this is what they look like all finished. I think it really adds a little pop of color in the kitchen. So for this, all you're going to need is a frame. I already had one on hand, but you can pick one up from the Dollar Tree or Goodwill. Mod Podge, a piece of canvas, and a free printable that you can find online. And I just did a really good coat on the canvas with Mod Podge and let that dry. You, you can speed it up by using the hair dryer or just let it dry on its own. It takes kind of a while. And then after it's dry, you're going to take a wet sponge or a um, water bottle and spray it. And you don't want to do the whole sheet at once. You want to start in little pieces and just lightly start rubbing off the paper. And I mean lightly and kind of go slow because you don't want to go um, too fast or too um, heavy handed because you can rip right through to the canvas and then your picture is gone. So I just took my time with this and did little by little. And I didn't have any black ink, that's why this looks red. But my husband thought it looked cool. He said it looked kind of old timey. So I just continued on and for some reason this canvas really wanted to curl up on me. But that's okay because I'm going to be putting it in the frame and it'll hold it down. And after I was finished with that step, I let it dry because it's going to be kind of wet from the sponge. I just put a good coat of Mod Podge over the top and let that dry. And then I took the frame that I had and painted that with chalk paint. I'm sorry, I painted that with chalkboard paint because I wanted it black and let that dry. And I think it turns out turned out really cute. And here's another look at the salt and pepper shaker. And I hope you guys liked these DIYs. If you did, leave me a comment below and let me know if you're new here. I would like to welcome you and I hope you consider subscribing. And if you're interested, I hope you stop by on Wednesday. I have another video coming up and it's in collaboration with one of my sweet friends here on YouTube. 
I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Monday and I will see you next time. Bye.